have a special crew guest. How are you feeling? With my hands. <laughs> That's a grandpa-ism. Daddy's going for the cruise now. This white-haired Adonis is none other than my old man, AKA Papa S.V. Delos. How's it going out there? <laughs> it had been over a year since we'd seen each other. We stopped in for a visit on our way to Antigua when Sierra was only four months old. So I was pretty stoked for my dad to see how much she's changed and grown and for Sierra to get to know her grandfather. We were on our way towards Lake Boca in Florida to catch up with my brother as well. And that meant that we would get the chance to test our hand as we navigate the bridges, cargo ships, and hustle and bustle of the East Coast's iconic Intracoastal Waterway, also known as the ICW. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. Ready, huh? Yup. Gonna head on out. We got a place up north, up in Boca, closer to my brother's house. We can chill out for a bit. We just gotta get off the dock. How much are we putting, putting in? Uh, about a hundred gallons. <laughs> Something like that. Haven't filled up in a while. No, uh, last time was in um, South Carolina. Yeah. Uh, and we've been doing quite a bit of motoring because we've been choosing to go on the backside of Lowe's instead of getting our ass kicked, which I think is a good choice. We have a long day ahead of us. Fuel up and then just move. I think we've got <laughs> 11 bridges in total. Oh. We're going to anchor somewhere in the middle uh, in Lake Boca and hopefully meet up with my brother on his boat, which will be fun. And so today we got to go under eight bridges or ten, nine bridges or something. Are we all set to go? I think so. I managed not to spill any fuel. Wow, that's nice. So since we've been in the marina and it's been like a closed area, uh, we got to pump out the toilets. So. Brian is gonna get on that as we're at the dock and they have a pump out station here, so yeah. It's always good to get rid of that. It's full. <laughs> when I took the cap off, it was right up to the top. Oh no! Yeah. We're all fueled up and pooped out. <laughs> we're all pooped out and fueled up. ICW, here we come. Have you ever been like going in the ICW for a long time? No. no. It's kind of. I don't know, I'm kind of dreading it, yet looking forward to it, to the sights at the same time. It's a weekday, so it shouldn't be too crazy. Yeah. It's just I hope we don't have to wait for every, every bridge, right? Yeah. We got out of there without any major catastrophes. That's always the plus. Today is a good day and we're going up the ICW. I see W. We're gonna go under 10 bridges and it's gonna be fun. This is the story of the inland waterways of the United States. The silent flowing waters and the things man has done to use them and control them, these are a vital part of the real story of how our nation grew and how it thrives today in a busy and crowded era of transportation and trade. The ICW is a 3,000 mile inland waterway that stretches along the Atlantic and Gulf coasts of the US, making it possible to travel by boat without heading out into the open ocean all the way from Boston, Massachusetts, down to the southern tip of Florida, and then over to the Gulf Coast as far as Brownsville, Texas. It's made up of mostly natural features like inlets, saltwater rivers, bays, and sounds, and a few man-made locks and canals as well. There's a few parts that don't quite connect. 
breaking the ICW up into three segments. And today, we would be traveling up a small section of the longest leg of the ICW, the Atlantic Intracoastal Waterway. The ICW as we know it today was completed in 1949, but its beginnings can be traced back as early as 1808. America was just beginning to really build up its transportation infrastructure, and after some planning and exploration, they realized it would be possible to create a route that would connect much of the East Coast by waterways with the addition of only four man-made canals. In 1826, Congress authorized the first survey for an inland canal, but the project lost momentum after the Civil War when government funding shifted away from waterways in favor of the booming railroad industry. But during World War II, the need for inland cargo transportation was proven after German submarines sank multiple merchant ships off the East Coast, moving the construction of the ICW back up the priority list. Today it's utilized as an important part of both domestic and international commercial shipping, but also for cruisers and recreational boaters to traverse the long sections of the U.S. coastline without all the hazards of traveling on the open ocean. Our friends on Calico Skies made the same trip down south as we did, only they traveled most of the way on the protected waters of the ICW. While they were experiencing this, we were experiencing this. Here we go again. Eight, nine, 11, 13, 15 <laughs> knots, holy, 16, oh Jesus, that's crazy. It certainly would have been a more pleasant journey for us to have done the same, but with the mast height of nearly 70 feet, Delos is a bit too tall to make it under most of the bridges along the route. We would only be covering about 20 miles on our way up to where my brother's house is, but we would still be getting the true ICW experience as we dodge traffic, cargo ships, and navigate our way through a ridiculous amount of bridges. 17th Street Bridge, unscheduled overland for Tug and Barge. Yeah, 17th Street Bridges, sailing vessel Delos, also northbound. Wonder if we can get behind that uh, commercial boat going north. Over. Roger. Copy that. Thank you. Sweet. We got we got to the bridge right as uh, right as it was closing, and so we're just gonna follow this because uh, commercial boats get priority. So we'll sneak in behind them. We're going under a bridge, Sierra. Side of business. This was our first of nine bridges that we would pass under for the day. Our anchorage was just over 20 miles away, but there would be plenty of obstacles along the way as we followed the charts that looked like a corn maze for cruisers. First bridge! One down, 10 to go. Las Olas Bridge, Las Olas Bridge, this is the sailing vessel Delos uh, northbound for your next opening over. Bridge number two coming up. Run, run, run! Bridge is opening! Thanks very much, Los Olas. You have a great day. Here we go. Bridge number three. Sunrise Boulevard, bridge number three. Park Bridge, this is sailing vessel Delos northbound for your next opening over. Appreciate yeah, we're uh, I think we're about two minutes away. Yeah, come on, baby, come on. Engage the turbo! I'm gonna push. Get out and push. We need a couple of joggers now. A couple of late joggers to slow it down for us. I don't know which number that is. We already lost count and we're not even like halfway through all the bridges. <laughs> are we there yet? No, we are not there yet. Yeah, you've done the timing pretty well, I think. Yeah, I mean, it turns out if you go seven knots, they're timed like pretty, pretty well. I thought we'd have to wait like half an hour at some of them, but the most we've had to wait is 10 minutes. Yeah. I mean, we've only done this for one day, and I think we'll probably be over it when the day is over, but... I'm already over it. 
<laughs> we'll go back to the ocean. It's a lot to look at. Yeah, there's a lot to look it's at. It's a lot of nice cool. houses and it's just bizarre that I feel like you can go on the inner coastal pretty much along the whole Florida coast, which is just crazy to me. That's like American. how can big, it be like trash. a protected waterway all the way pretty much from Norfolk? That's yeah, that's insane. But we're too tall, so we can only do this part, but so all of us have been wearing our Delos rash guards today. Uh, we've been wearing them a lot lately and it's pretty chilly today, even though we're down here, huh? Even in southern Florida. I know, it's been great to have them. So if you want to check them out and get yours, head to svdelos.com forward slash shop. And there's a lot of other good things there too that you can, I don't know, accessorize with. Accessorize? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, svdelos.com forward slash shop. And that's it! So I just put Sierra to bed and I'm gonna film a little bit with our homemade uh, GoPro pole that uh, Brian just made me. Oh, I'm trying to improve on our GoPro pole. So we've been using our boat hook for a long time and it kind of sucks because like the end of the boat hook always gets caught on everything. So we bought this uh, cheapo, like, what is this meant for? A brush attachment for washing the deck. I'll just squish it, drill a hole in it, and then bolt that straight to the top of it. And then it'll be a super extendable GoPro mount. <laughs> Shit, we did. Cool. I think it'll work. I like it, very sturdy. Thank you. Fidel's driving the boat. At your service, sir. How's it going? Good, good, smooth. Yeah? Autopilot. It's the only way to go. Autopilot? Autopilot. <laughs> Nugget and autopilot. Right. Two things you need on a boat. How's she handle? Easy. Like a pig? No. Like a bus? I like it when it turns slow. I don't like it. Oh, this thing turns slow. You don't have to worry about that. No fast turns in this one. Here we go. Bridge number five, four. I don't know. I already lost count. Commercial Boulevard. <laughs> already lost count. Thank you. What bridge is this? This is Atlantic Boulevard. We actually got here early because I was on it. I was wow. hard on it. Yeah, hard on it. While well, eating my quesadilla. Quesadilla. Requesting vessels, please remain outside the fenders until the bridge is fully made. 
I, mean, I like it when they tell me what's happening. Some people don't even answer you back. I know. I'm like, what, are you too busy? So I just busy. called you on the radio, let me know, I'm new at this. She's very nice though. Yeah. And then some of them care about your name. I wonder if they log in or something. Some of them don't even respond. the last bridge. Is it? That's it. Wow. For today. For today. <laughs> Sweet. So now we're in the Lake Boca and we're just gonna anchor, huh? A little bit shallow. Is it? In Lake Boca. One meter. One meters. Are we gonna go on the north side? North side. North side. Do we have a game plan? Yeah, we're gonna go uh, around this marker here. Okay. Turn starboard and then should be eight feet of water. It's gonna be close. Supposedly it's possible. It's coming on low tide, so. Yeah. So it's a bit nerve wracking coming into super shallow places like this. I'm thinking if we can go in this spot, like between the 65 and the little boat right there. Looks like a little spot. Let's we'll see how the depths are, huh? Yeah, it might shallow up pretty fast. Maybe a little bit more to starboard. I think this looks pretty good, Brian. Are you ready? Ready? Dropping. Okay, dropping. Go back down, see how we do. Yeah, we always back down on the anchor pretty good to make sure that it sets really well. And then the chain kind of stretches out. How's it feel? I don't think we're moving. Okay, we're good. Snubber, short snubber. Short snubber. The snubber is basically so uh, if the wave comes or if the wind picks up that we have the load on a stretchy line instead of the air chain going like that, 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 if that makes sense <laughs> so yeah i always put out the snubber and now we're gonna do a pretty short one since we don't have a lot of swing room right here so should we get Sweet! What a beautiful day! With Della secured in the anchorage, we were ready to hop in Maggie and pick up our other guests of honor, my brother Brett and his family, who live right here in Boca Raton. Well, look who it is! Imagine seeing you guys here. Happy birthday! Ready. Okay. All aboard. Sweet. Who I found. What's going on? Hi, Hi sweet girl. You're Hi. back. Hi. Hi. It was like two years ago since you guys were on the boat, right? Uh, Wasn't it when we came right in? Right before you had her, when we went to Key Biscayne. Oh, so like a year and a half ago. Yeah, a little, yep, about yeah. a year and a half. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you ready for your birthday presents? Oh, <laughs> we yes. saw this and we thought of you. You did. Oh, <laughs> oh I love you guys. I'm glad I remind you of vodka. <laughs> it had been a long and challenging journey down the East Coast for us, and reaching Florida and meeting up with my family felt like we could really take a deep breath and relax. Like most cruisers, we never know exactly what the next days, weeks, or even months may bring but it felt so amazing to have another chapter in Delos' story complete. Up next, we tie up at a friend's house, begin building a new downwind pole, and Senior Brady flies in for a visit. What are you guys doing? We're rocking out, mommy, look. I 
I speak Cuban Spanish, which is when in doubt, put an L in front and an O in the back. Like a leave me alone. Hold that, hold that. Who got this guy? <laughs> oh, my tongue stuck. It's always good to get rid of that stocked up uh, poop, I guess. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Yeah. I might just go for that for that. How's that? 